Howdy, how you doing? Today, episode two, I'm going to show you some of the prep work I've done and some of the reference materials I've gathered and all that. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, step by step and show you what I've done so far. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can see this very well or not, but this is my loft and um, showing the bottom portion with all my uh, frame lines. You can't see very well. I, I know it's a uh, kind of light, but uh, um, it it's a 12 footer, so I was able to put it down on one sheet like that. But let me show you something else. This is my old one, and I've had this so long. And, and storage, you can't even uh, read the lines, and it just got uh, destroyed. So I'm ending up having <laughs> to, to make a new one. Oh God, it's horrible. So I, I had this all nice at one time, <laughs> but that's that. And so here's my new one, and uh, I'm. Uh, uh, starting over. Now this is only the um, the plan view side and then I have the uh, I'm going to make another sheet with the um, oh no this is not the plan view this is the um, this is the uh, elevation and I'm going to make the plan view also on another sheet uh, but I, I already have the the frames and I don't know if you can see this or not, but th they're in fairly good condition. I know you can't. Uh, uh, I can I can read these at least, yeah, from so many years ago. Um, but they're in pretty good shape. It's just hard to see on camera. But uh, I have all eight frames uh, made up, and. Um, on on the on the on the lofts, but here's the uh, all the parts for the frames. In well, most of the parts, I don't have all of them, but uh, it starts from eight, seven, six, five. Oh, I don't have five or four. Yeah, three, two, one, and then that's what. The, and then you get pieces of the plywood to, to fix them together, and that's what it's going. Each frame is going to look like right there, like that. I picked up, I, I've had this um, uh, rudder for many years, and it's a little work. This is uh, approximately the same size as the other uh, rudder that was on, um, that's on the uh, drawing, so I'm working that. And also, we can go over here. Here's my wood. I have the... Um, um, there's my transom, a magnolia. I mean magnolia. What the heck? What are you talking about? That's my uh, mahogany transom, and I have a lot of extra pieces for um, doing uh, like the, uh, the the end boards for the um, the center center board uh, hole, and uh, I have um, these here. Th th there, there's my um, keel right there. And next to it is a piece that I, I, I bought for my for my chines and my um, in walls in wheels and uh, um, gar, uh, uh, guards for the outside of the boat and uh, I'm going I'm going to as I'm taking cuts on it well I, I took a cut on it with the with a power saw as you can see that was my first cut and. Uh, it didn't work out as well as I liked, but uh, it did cut the, the right angle on the, the first right angle. Let me show you what I, I did on that. Uh, I made a AutoCAD drawing, and uh, I uh, I uh, took all the cuts that I needed to have uh, done, and I I figured out the angles for each cut, and. Um, put them on a drawing so yeah. I may have to do it a different way I don't know 
but uh, at least it's a reference to how I want to uh, cut things. It's, uh, they're pretty long pieces, so it's hard to control them anyway. So basically that's it. So here's the uh, marine plywood I bought. I have two sheets. That's enough for um, either the one side of the boat or uh, or uh, the top of the boat, top part of the uh, of the planking. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to get another two sheets anyway. But um, I had enough money for uh, two sheets, and I. Um, I'm going to show you the the um, schedule of uh, parts that I have that I've been working off of, and uh, quite a lot of parts on here. Um, I did get the rudder, like I said, already, and the tiller that goes with it, but. Uh, I got the frames, the keel, the stem, chines. I don't have the knees. I don't have the floors. I hope I have enough for the rubbing strip or the guard. I don't have the center board. That's supposed to be mahogany too. And um, the, um, let's see, the, the center board uh, box sides are supposed to be pine. I don't know. I don't have that either. So I, I got a couple of parts I have to buy still, but I have plenty of work to do. And uh, that, uh, that should be enough to get, keep me busy for a while. So this is the um, reference book that I bought years back on how to, uh, how to build uh, boats. Uh, it's called the How to Build Small Boats by Edison Schock. And uh, he has some neat stuff in there. And... Uh, He's, he's got a few boats and he, he tells you uh, this is 1952 and uh, reprinted in 1964 so some of these things are um, uh, quite interesting. He's got about the mold loft work and uh, how to do the, uh, the keel and the stem and, uh, and the transom and all that. So this is just general stuff though. There's a uh, uh, some work on the keel, how to uh, form it, and uh, centerboard stuff. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And then he goes on with uh, some other um, uh, some other um, uh, plans. He's got a lot of plans in there. And uh, 11 foot skiff. And uh, this is a neat one. Uh, racing outboard. Uh, look at that. The 10.6, uh, uh, 10, uh, 10 and a half uh, foot uh, racing outboard. And a uh, 16 footer. Oh, look at that one. That is a, looks like a challenge, hey? Anyway, so that, this is mine right here. And uh, it's a challenge in itself. Anyway, that's the book. And that was a while back, and there I am. How about that? Anyway, so I have rethought things. And, you know, in the first episode, I said, well, I was going to... Um, <laughs> try to do everything with the uh, hand tools and I, I don't think I'm gonna really uh, do that <laughs> I'm gonna try to do some most of it with the uh, hand tools but uh, yeah, it's gonna just gonna be too, too crazy and uh, hopefully I'll figure out a way to, to cut that with a um, router this this, <laughs> this whole, and, and the uh, and the rabbits on either side. They're five eighths rabbits, and they, you, know, you got about five sixteenths deep that they have to go. And I, I cut a little 
notch out that they show a little uh, how how it's gonna how deep it has to be and how uh, and I just um, tried it out a little bit to see um, what it was gonna be like and my gosh I, I'm gonna see if I can set up a a jig or something to uh, both do both the uh, um, uh, centerboard hole and the uh, rabbits around the edges <laughs> anyway yeah here i am so that's about it for uh this episode anyway and uh i'll see you next time catch you later man